Hello there. Yeah, it's all gone bloody tits up, isn't it? Right, so we are currently prepping uh, for a ride. Uh, 50k around the mountains in the highlands here. Uh, trying to pack all the spare kit up, uh, get food ready, make sure we've got everything before we go so we're fully prepared. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a spate at the moment. But... Right, so 50k, kitted up, think we've got everything we need. Uh, new jerseys on, obviously. This one could be interesting. It's a long old route round these mountains. We'll see you up there. So we're off the main road now. And on the side of this lake. And I'm guessing it should turn to... A, like, trail fairly shortly. Nice scenery so far. Just want to get off the road now. So we're into our first little bit of single track now. Off the main beaten track. A gate that's clearly no longer in use. I like this touring. This sort of stuff is fun. There's a proper adventure into the way you're going. And over the bridge. Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't know where we are. We've just seen an eagle. What we think is an eagle. We just made a sound. That sounded like a bloody eagle to me. There he goes. Wow. That is cool. That is sick. Sam has injured his ball bag. This is crazy. This ascent is just ridiculous. It's so rocky. Oh my god! This is gnarly, absolutely gnarly. Oh my god. Oh, up we go. E bike. Wow. Sam. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, Nelly. <laughs> so the terrain here has massacred another inner tube. So I'm going to put another one in. We need to go back to tubeless sometime soon, but because of the rim split in the tyre at the moment, we can't go tubeless until we get a new tyre, so it's inner tubes on the rear. I'm okay, Sam's is not, so he's venting his anger, and I can feel his anger because it went after to me. So we're out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere, nobody for miles around other than a couple walking their dog over there, but you do really feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, so we'll get this new inner tube sorted out, new wheel, like the back, wheel back on, and then continue with our fingers firmly crossed. <laughs> Okay, we shall continue. Just spoke to a lovely gentleman who's a local. Uh, yeah, what a lovely part of the world to live. Just out for a walk. Great terrain here, what the hell? We just don't want to get another puncture because we don't have anything to repair it. That's cool, man. <whistles> Off we go. This is sick. These are probably the gnarliest trails I've ever ridden. That's insane. Off we go. And now we get into some trees. It's not very flowy, this is very, very black rocky descent. However, this may get better. Who knows, is this gonna be more flowy? I mean, it's not a mountain bike specific trail. So oh, there's not going to be berms as such, but... Oh, Christ! Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Bridge. Woo! Down by the side of the river. I mean, you could be in Canada or somewhere looking down at that. So that's one 
climb and descent done and now we have another one to find and do I now find myself on a 25 mile detour the short of it is Sam got another puncture snake bite and now he's walking back along the road and my detour apparently has taken me the wrong way and it's now a 25 mile journey to the van I've only got 16 miles in turbo I don't even know whether I'm going to make it I find myself here though this is going to turn into a diary of how things are going I'll catch you in the next video so as I turned the camera off I went to go and put my dropper post up it just snapped brilliant I feel like I'm on my own doing a round the world tour or something and then when shit happens so I've just come flying down this mountain pass I'm now going along at 22 miles an hour 20 now I've got 12 miles of range left I'm not too sure how far the sat nav says we're just cruising at the moment. Done. Love Scotland, but hate the midges, and I'm just done. Glad enough. I want to go and enjoy the rest of my holiday in peace. So what we're going to do now is because the dropper cable snapped, I'm going to try and rise the post up as much as I can with my trusty Allen key. Uh, this bike is far from a road bike. It's the heaviest thing made for going downhill i probably i think i've still got 20 miles to go to torridon like i said i feel like i'm doing like a round the world sort of thing on my own and problems happening like, just shoot me now please <sighs> Yeah, it's all gone bloody tits up, isn't it? Again, nobody around. I think we've got to go around those mountains in front of me. Sixteen miles of range. Seventeen miles to go. Is it seventeen miles? Fifteen miles. Okay, so we're still good for range. I know I'm on an e-bike when my legs are tired now. I didn't plan on doing over a 50 mile ride today. So we've got one mile of range. And I'm so close to the van. The van is over where those white buildings are. If I manage to get back with power still in this thing, I'll be amazed. I'm absolutely cream crackered. As you can imagine, Wales is very up down. Um, Wales? Scotland. It's very up down, up down. I talk about Wales because I think we're going to go down there to get away from the midges. I'm absolutely rat assed. I can't think properly. I need some food. It's now saying zero. Zero miles in the tank. Come on. I'm waiting for this thing to switch off any moment now. Zero miles left. Oh my God, it's going to go off any moment. I'm going to have to walk the final 100 yards or something. And I, how embarrassing. As soon as I get back to the van, it marks a 50 mile round trip ride over some of the most spectacular mountains in Scotland. 
Still zero. There's a sign. We are officially back in Torridon. Zero miles. I can see the finishing sign just down there at the end of this road. It's not a mile. It's not quite half a mile. But guess what? We have no miles and we're still running. Okay, it's flashing. There is officially nothing. Nothing left in the e-bike. And I can see the van. Oh, I'm gonna have to change down some gears. Nothing left in the tank and it cuts out as I come around the corner and see the van. There we go. There we have it, nothing left, but I made it back to the van. Now I've got to load this thing back up and go and find Sam sitting on the side of the road somewhere. Not really too sure where Sam will be, but I'm guessing he'll be on the side of the road somewhere. Let's go and find him. Look what I find guys, I found Sam. <laughs> on the side of this road. He's been sitting in this lay-by for the past two and a bit hours. Not good. Anyway, everything's got to come out. The van's in a state. Got to rip everything out, repack everything. No more riding will be happening this trip, I can tell you that much. Sad face. Oh well. We'll see what happens. The main thing is he's alright. <laughs> 